So right here, where I'm standing, warmest spot in the hangar, by a good 10 degrees easy. I found it by accident. Nobody knows except me. Well, and now you. If I catch you standing here tomorrow, you and me, we're having words. One out of 20 colonists suffers from cabin fever. The depression, the isolation, the stress. People break, run out into the snow, disappear forever. In two years, we've lost four colonists, including Diaz, the contractor you're replacing. Poor girl. So if you ever feel like you're losing it, if you hallucinate or feel intense paranoia, you come see me. Sure thing. Tip number two, heat hazard warnings. All Nevik approved vehicles and utility rigs are equipped with hazard sensors designed to keep you aware of potential dangers in the environment. Do not consider these warnings advice. Consider them gospel. Stay aware, stay alive. Man, you scored the best gig around here. Getting paid to explore the mysteries of an unknown world? Surviving by your wits? <laughs> I'm stuck all day on this base. It's liable to come unmoored and plummet down a pit if you blow on it too hard. Can you believe it? Kendrick Kovach overseeing our lab! I followed his career for years! Child prodigy originally. In fact, Dr. Kovach was the youngest ever to win the Kubrick Prize for Distinguished Research in Radioactive Biokinetics. Surely you just made that up. I hear he's a few nucleotides short of a full gene sequence myself. Uh, you, you arrived with him, yes? What's he like? Oh, uh, interesting guy. He's very, uh, very high functioning. Well, I'm reassured. Oh, it's you, Regan Gale's pit. Him and his big man toys. Don't get me wrong, bright boy, great natural aptitudes. If only he'd focused in on the sciences instead of giant robots. <laughs> Such wasted potential. It's not a robot. Don't buy into this disapproving school mom act. Litke's been giving the same speech ever since she made out with Gale at the solstice party, only to find out that his 18th birthday was two weeks later. <laughs> uh, Pretty sure I'm not supposed to tell you about that. Oh, hey! Be sure to come and see the new lab when they finish the expansion. Any week now, they say. We're going to do great things, I can feel it. Waste management to the Annex 3 treatment station. Waste management to Annex 3. Welcome to Coronis. The base is named after the ship we landed on. The one hanging over the ravine now. Beats me what the name actually means, though. Scott says it's named after some Greek myth or something. 
Sounds more like a hemorrhoid cream to me. Sorry, man. I am just rambling. When we're not busy trying to survive, it's boring as hell around here. I'll tell you that. Well, nice meeting you. Nevic survival tip number six. Never stray from your umbilical in sub-zero temperatures. The umbilical field provides supplemental power to your environment suit, increasing your level of warmth and powering tactical readouts that your suit's battery could otherwise not support. Stay smart. Stay close. Jim's heading out, so let's prep the rig, people! need this, though. Oh, you ready to try this? Dry-treated hypertensile kern retractors. I like to call it the Cockpit Express. You got one on the front, one on the back. You just clip in, give the line a tug, shoop! And by shoop, you mean launch myself up at solid metal from 10 meters down and hope I don't break my neck? As an alternative to being eaten? Yeah. Jim Payton here. You copy? Payton, is your rig online already? Yeah, looks like the kid here might know his stuff, but I'll know for sure after I take her out for a spin. That French fella still not back? Yes, I'm afraid he hasn't been responding to radio calls. Well, why don't I go have a look for him? I know where we parted ways, and he did save our bus just a little. Say no more, Payton. You've got your first assignment. Good luck.
day on EDM 3 when we have our own mining operation up. But till then, I'll enjoy a perverse thrill watching the crew harvest metal right off the Corona ship. All the desperate scavenging for resources reminds me of home. Like Mother told me, always use all parts of the wars. Hey, darling. Uh, hi. So I'm just gonna decide that it's not weird to be having a one-way conversation with you. Not weird at all. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, I thought you might need some music up there to keep you sane, to keep you thinking of home, so well, there's a playlist for me attached to this message. Hopefully it all magically works and you can play it as soon as your rig's up and running. Okay, that's it for now. Just let me know you got there at one piece, okay? Miss you already. Doesn't look good. Best to follow the trail. Coronas, this is Peyton. You still read me? Peyton, Coronas Actual. Copy you loud and clear. Any sign of LaRoche? Well, I found his rig back at, let's see, White Canyon Junction? Looks pretty beat up, but no trace of the man himself. Thanks for the update. Just keep looking. I know he's out there somewhere. Braddock out. Hello? 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 LaRoche! LaRoche! You out here? You out here? You out here? You out here? Over here! Over here.
C'est des conneries. I had that crab out of its shell and ready to dip in butter. Then one foot sleeps over the ledge and my whole rig is on her back. Did you see what he did to her? Nothing that can't be fixed. You're lucky you got out with all your limbs. Ah, keep your perspective to yourself, rookie. Fight a few giant crab monsters of your own, then speak to me of luck. Fair enough. Guess we're even. <laughs> First, we survive, then we keep score. <laughs> <laughs> 